Well, in, in 1991, the Kentucky Heritage Council, uh, State, State Historic Preservation Office, called and uh, had a meeting here in Somerset, Kentucky, and said, if anybody's interested in preserving Mill Springs Battlefield, meet at the college and we'll talk about it. I've been interested in Civil War all my life. I'm a Civil War reenactor. started in 1990 as a reenactor. So 20 of us went together that night and formed the Mill Springs Battlefield Association. And within a month, we were meeting with people from Washington, D.C. and the state of Kentucky. And they had a pilot program that the National Park Service started. It's called the American Battlefield Protection Program. And it, it started with the idea of getting local organizations like Mill Springs to preserve their own neighborhood battlefields. Since then, we've been able to buy 36 tracts of land. I couldn't do this by myself, obviously. There's been a lot of board members. There have been a lot of people in communities who've worked, a lot of county governments work with us. We have talked to the National Park Service and they've taken us over, and they're doing that as we speak. They now own the museum, and uh, they're taking in our 1,000 acres in the next three or four or five years. One thing that Mill Springs has that no other battlefield has is we have a Confederate encampment area down on the lake that was completely abandoned by the Confederates in the dark of night, and they left everything they owned behind. When the Union, came, the Union Army came in the next morning, they just followed everybody gone. They captured all their supplies and everything. They had no need for all the Confederate stuff, so they destroyed it all. It's still there. We're digging it up. And that tells us a lot of story of the early war, because this battle happened on January 19, 1862. This is the first battle in the state of Kentucky. And so the locals out here said, you know, you'll never be buying this land. Nobody sells their land out here. What's in it for you? Why are you doing this? There's always something in it for everybody, right? And it just took years to get the public to, you know, people live out here realize that there isn't anything in it for me. I'm proud that the soldiers that fought here are never going to be forgotten. Because now we've got markers where their graves are over there at the Confederate Cemetery. People know that the Union Cemetery started because of the Battle of Mill Springs. That's why the various guys are being buried there today that fought in every war the United States has been in since the Civil War. And secondly, I'm proud of this museum and visitor center we built that will always be here and, and that the park service they will come in and say wow we've never seen anything like this ever given to us before and uh, that we were being here for the community and that the citizens of nancy have accepted that mill springs is the right thing and, and, and they're proud of it they're proud of us now and we had part of that and I'm, I'm proud of all the people that i worked with i'm talking about hundreds of people it's not been a handful of us it's been hundreds of people that are still working to do this out here. And that's my proudest thing I've ever seen is sitting in the parking lot and looking at cars from Alaska, Hawaii, believe it or not, you know, all over the United States coming to the battlefield, not to Lake Cumberland, coming to the battlefield to see the battlefield. Just be active in your community, don't expect anything for it, get back to your community and I raise my children to do the same thing. It's, it's, it's what makes our country great.